Hi all, and welcome to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, today we are going to be taking a look at the uh, ritual of binding and how to make these different types of stones. So yeah, uh, I have here in my red pouch, which is my blood magic pouch, uh, all the items that we need. Of course, all of this, we really don't need all of them. But what you do need is the Ritual Stones, we need the Weak Activation Crystal, you also need this little guy, the Ritual uh, the ritual Wand, uh, right now it says Ritual of blind, uh, Blinding, sorry, Binding, but yeah, uh, that's about it, and we can also take the Mexican Stone, um, yeah. In order to make Ritual Stones, you will need... Either an apprentice, magic and master, archmage, or translucent. Uh, yeah, um, apprentice. Apprentice, I think, is the lowest you can get, and then reinforced slate stones. Uh, yeah, reinforced slates and some obsidian. Four reinforced slates and four pieces of obsidian will give you four ritual stones. Of course, the reinforced slate is just um, normal stone put in here and just leave it in um, first you will get these blanks slates oh. well. uh, from uh, normal stone you just put normal stone bam you get these blanks then whoops come back here you put uh, you put in the blank slate and it will after a bit uh, a bit Suck up some of the juices in the uh, <laughs> the blood altar, and it should uh, fairly soon here become a reinforced uh, slate, and that's the that's the end part. You can't, uh, as you can see, there's no more particle effects above it. Oh, well, there is. That's probably something new. Okay, but you need the reinforcement. I think the others are something else. Let me see. Do I have any of the others? No, let us just uh, put this one back in, and we can see what it becomes a little bit later on. I'm pretty sure that the next tier is the last, yeah. Okay, then you'll need this little guy, the Ritual Wand. I call it the Ritual Wand because it is a wand type, and uh, every time you... Uh, let me see, I think it's shift clicking, and uh, yeah, you can see that's the Ritual Binding, and then you can, if you hold down shift... Uh, and then just uh, right click, it scrolls one way, left click, it scrolls the other way. Cool. See here. Okay. Imbued slate. Can it go even further? I think it can. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, and then you need. Uh, Oh, sorry. Let's just see, see how you make this. Oh, how you make this little guy? You make it by having each of the elemental uh, inscribing tools right here. You need the fire, the air, earth, and water. How to make the fire? You put a magma cream inside uh, the uh, uh, yeah blood altar. And uh, the water is a gas here. The uh, no, sorry, not the water. The air is a gas here. The water is a, a block of uh, um, lapis, and finally the earth is a obsidian. Let's see. Here. Is it done up here? No, it has just sucked everything up. It's just becoming a huge slate. Okay, cool. We'll figure out what the next uh, step is for that. But yeah, um, also let me just do this. And then you need an emerald and four pieces of diamond, which gives you this uh, ritual diviner. Uh, yeah, ritual diviner. Yeah, I call it the ritual wand. Um, I don't know what I don't know what the, the heck this is. If it's this, it's exactly the same. I don't know why. Okay, this one, the weak activation crystal is a lava crystal in a tier 3 altar and 10,000 uh, light points. The lava crystal itself 
is four lava buckets, obsidian, glass, and I think it is the apprentice, yeah, or weak, a weak orb, yeah. The cool thing about it is, you, uh, the orb does not get used in these uh, recipes. It's only the life points that's in your system. For example, if you have this one, for example, the uh, divination signal. If you just right click it out in the air, as you can see down there, it says that I have 148,958. That's how many life points I got in my system. And that is in this one, uh, the magic and orb. Uh, which is fine to me at the moment so yeah and then you will need of course these ritual stones which I told you they were made with the impute with the reinforced slate obsidian and this uh, yeah orb thing and you get four and you need quite a few actually uh, and then you're probably wondering yeah but then I uh, do I have to color all of these by hand no, you don't. Let me show you. You can see we have six, uh, 36 of these uh, ritual stones. As soon as I pick it, pick it up, it becomes a ritual stone. It goes back to its normal state. And you're probably, no, don't take it down. Don't worry. You can take it down, put it up, take it down, put it up how many uh, times you want. The cool thing about the ritual and the ritual stones is that it is very versatile. Hence why we have built that uh, little uh, ritual wand here. As you can see, I have uh, it is on. As soon as you uh, go over it, it says, it says there on, uh, above your armor, uh, ritual, ritual of binding. Now, you also need this. A master ritual stone. The master ritual stone is, of course, four ritual stones itself. And some obsidian and that orb, Mexican orb or, yeah, whatever. I think a Mexican orb is the, yeah. So you have to have a tier four. You have to have a tier four altar in order to uh, get it. But yeah, um, and then you get this matcha master ritual stone. The matcha ritual stone is of course uh, the one you put in the middle. Bam. So yeah. You could, uh, let's see here, gonna shift click, let's go, Ritual Contention, Ritual of the Green Grove, Ritual of the ser oh, Serenaded Nether, there we go. Let me show you what this is. Now that you got, got it on the Serenaded Nether, you just uh, right click it, and boom. It automatically sets up the stones for you. Of course, you could place them yourself. But uh, then you'll have to have those um, inscribing tools. Uh, I do have them, they're right here. Then you have to color them each on yourself. But that's why we have this little, this little guy right here, that's cool. And then you have the weak activation crystal. And boom, you activate it. That costs uh, a little bit to activate from your own blood pool. As you can see, we from 48, we cost, whoa, <laughs> damn, it cost uh, 10,000. Or something like that to activate this one because it is lava. But yeah, then you then it's a, it's an infinite lava spring right here. It's an infinite lava spring, as long as you have LP in your system. <clears throat> so yeah, you can just take a bucket, bam, and uh, yeah. You of course uh, a rush of energy. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> yeah, well, the only thing you have to do is just play. Whoa. Yeah, shit. Shit. That was stupid. <laughs> Whoops. Um ah, help. <clears throat> Let me see here. There we go. <clears throat> Let us just uh, get rid of this. There we go, get rid of it, yeah, oh my god, gotta be careful, especially with that one, oh my god, yeah, uh oh, we don't make a bummer, the match of stone just got destroyed, 
Well, we we uh, we uh, have uh, what we need to make a new one. So let's make a new one, shall we? And my system in here is running like a son of a bitch. Of course, this one in the middle. Like that, and then we need the OBI, Obsidian, yes, normal, Minecraft Obsidian, bam. As you can see, it was only the Ritual Stone and the Obsidian that was taken, but not the Orb. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's already beginning to get night time, damn it. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> Uh, ritual of the full spring. Of course, that's the exact op opposite of the lava. That's just water. Mm, let's see here. Veil of evil. Veil of evil. I'm going to make a ritual around there because then I don't have to stand with a sword and kill them all the time. It uh, the veil of evil would automatically kill them, and I will get more LP. So let's see here. Let's do the ritual of binding again. Let's see if we can find it. Ritual of the earthen. Of the knife and regeneration suffering. Uh, ritual of the shepherd is, um, yeah, any creature that comes inside of it uh, will uh, become fed and will actually breed. So, yeah. Uh, high jump. Yeah, there we go. Binding. Uh, yeah. When you do this ritual of binding here, um, if you wanted to put it down on the ground like I have done right here, um, you can see here from the middle, two out, bam, on all four sides, and then just across uh, diagonally, bam, one in the middle, and then you get it. Now that we've got the ritual binding and we got our stones, we just stand in here between these two here. It doesn't matter where you stand, it just don't stand where it's setting a block. And then just, whoops, shit, damn. Hmm, what's wrong here? We got the stones. Let me just check here, do I need these out? I don't think so. Hmm. Could it? This is bound to me, right? And this one is bound to me. Master Ritual Stone. Can it be that I don't... I think I don't have enough. No, I got 128,000. So, I should be good. So, what is wrong here? What is wrong here? Turn to face north. Huh? You have... I have to face north? I don't get it. Okay, what the bloody fudge? What the bloody fudge is going on here? It has changed the rich. Ah, uh, I'm doing the ritual of the unbinding. God damn it! Mm. Okay, that's the wrong one. Ritual binding. Thank you. 
Uh, well, as you can see, <laughs> it wasn't the, the, the binding, it was me that was stupid. I was like, oh my god, it has changed, but no, it hasn't. It's just me that's a dirt. Uh, I do believe that it doesn't. No, yeah, it costs a little bit, as you can see, it costs a little bit to do. Uh, in there, and then the, then it shouldn't matter what which way I look. Yeah, here we go. Bam, 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 and there we're done. Let's do have the binding, and it colors in uh, as it should, and it doesn't need those out. It doesn't need these out. It was just me that was stupid. Okay, now we can then do B uh, B uh, oh, B blood. Let's see here. Bound tools. We have a bound axe. No, we don't. Uh, let's go in and uh, let's make a sword, a diamond sword, and a diamond axe. <laughs> but remember, they can be quite expensive to use, as you saw last uh, video. Uh, I. Uh, Killed myself for uh, trying to use them. Okay, and uh, diamond. Yeah, here we go. Bam, one diamond sword. Let's do diamond axe. Nope, not hoe. Diamond pickaxe. Cool. Uh. Yeah, bound sword. Diamond pickaxe, X. Oh, I already done the bound sword. Why am I? It's only the. As you can see in here, we got the bound sword and the bound shovel. The bound sword you need to, uh, in order to get. These weak shards here. You need to kill the enemies with the bound sword. So yeah. Um, let's do this again. The bound pickaxe. The binding ritual. Yeah. And it doesn't say how much you need. The soul of the dam do not like stone. Well, apparently not. Okay, let's try this out, shall we? Place uh, your item there and then just stand back because this is gonna. Yeah. You see the uh, ring there? It does its thing, it uses the item, and bam! Woo! Right now it's just, uh, it's just an orb. You have to. Shift click it and then it will take some of this uh, the LP you got in your system. Okay. Let's just try to get out of here. Well then let's find a place where we can find some stone. Actually we do have stone right here, don't we? Lulls. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Holy Butt grease. That took twenty thousand. Oh, yeesh, 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 yeesh. Okay, we uh, uh, we're gonna stop with that. Shift click. Bam! <laughs> oh, that was uh, right clicking the uh, yeah. Right clicking the uh, axe, which made this gigantic hole. Fuck. Right down into an underground. Damn. Oh, and by the way, if you have torches beside any type of weapon, no, I think it's it's only uh, the tool weapons. Yeah. Um, when you are mining, when you're going down mining and stuff, instead of already uh, always shifting over to the torch. If you just have it beside the weapon, just left click and it will set a torch for you automatically. 
Oh, sorry, right click, right click, and it will set a torch for you automatically. Okay, let's uh, go into bird mode and let's just get out of this freaking hole. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cover that in. <laughs> oh God damn! Okay, uh, let's uh, oh, um, do that and do that, 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 and that. Yeah, cool. Um, let's do the X now. Let's hopefully we can get it to work. It doesn't matter where you put it, uh, as long as it is inside that block. Bam. Okay, I am a little hesitant to try and use this thing, because, yeah. Last time I... Well, I literally died from trying to use the uh, shovel over there. But yeah, let's uh, go over here. Let's find ourselves some trees. I don't know what that's just... Let's go into wish mode here. Okay, and then go back into human mode. Okay. How you doing? Okay. Remember, shift, right click, activates the axe. Normal chopping is just uh, left clicking, but then. BAM! Right clicking on the wood will completely decimate the tree. Holy crap, how much does it take out of me? It takes quite a lot. Oof, goddamn. But these weapons here, uh, or tools, are immensely cool. Oh Yeah, well, that was uh, a little tutorial. Um, I will have a link in the description below to the master himself, where I have learned it, of course. None other than the great and powerful Direwolf 20. Yes, 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 yes. yes. He has a, uh, a full-on... Uh, tutorial from uh, basic to advanced from uh, for blood magic but yeah that's all I'm gonna show you that's all I know of for the moment but uh, yeah as soon as we get into more blood magic and more fancy ritual of uh, bindings and stuff like that yeah and these guys <laughs> I like I love this guy he has a little afro on he's got glasses and afro on he's <laughs> what's up bro <laughs> Fuck's sake. And this little guy over he's got a little angel on him. Oh damn. Okay, uh not fun and games. Uh let me just put this one in here. All of these in here, like so. This boots tree. Cool. Oh yeah, uh this one too. Is there anything in here that's not related to blood magic? Nope, that's not cool. Oh, lit. Cool. Bam. Uh, yeah, I cleared out my inventory just for uh, for this little demonstration purposes. All of my stuff is in here. But yeah, um, now I'm going to show you what we are going to play with tomorrow. Don't uh, don't mind that the, this, the beam isn't connected there, just a visual bug. I have, yeah, 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 shout out cooler. Huh. Could it be? Just by being in the vicinity of this, my pendant is charging up. Isn't that lovely? Well, yeah, let me show you here, guys. We got it. We got the Eldritch knowledge for uh, 
doing a ton of uh, items that had flux on it and warp. But yeah, so let me just, uh, I need to get my inscription tools out and paper. Oh, let's just get this one out too. That so we uh, have what we need and paper up there. Cool. Oh yeah, and I made this. Um, it's just an interface, and this up here you can specify which uh, items you want to keep in this interface at all time. The cool thing about it is the interface has uh, somewhat of a little. Uh, uh, chest storage right here it only has these uh, parts down here but yeah it can store uh, any item up to 64 so but the uh, the inscribing tool doesn't stack so yeah that's just one but you can have 64 uh, of any type of item in here so yeah that's pretty cool but i have made it so that instead of it making inscribing tools from scratch I just tell it that when a inscribing tool, as you can see up here, is almost, well, it's completely empty. I just take the inscribing tool out of here. Bam, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to take it out. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take the inscribing tool out of here. Then put in, in any of the other slots right here, that hasn't any correspondent on top. It will suck out the inscribing tool, refill it with an ink sack, and put it back in here. That's pretty cool. Okay, to this, I'm gonna show you, we're, we're gonna make this one, the insanity checker. Uh, it's gonna be the one thing we're gonna make today. Because we got so much warp now that uh, bad things are happening to us. So yeah, ma'am. Okay, we got the mind, we got the bird, we got the uh, galactic node here thingy. Alienus. <laughs> Alienus is comprised with that and that. Uh, vacuous and Tembra Darkness. Oh. Yeah. The brain itself has those, and the owl over here, down here, has those two. So the owl and the brain is quite easily. Uh, connected. Let's do that, that, and that. Now we've got those two, those two connected. Now we need this one. Ah, the server's being backed up. Okay. Let's see, what is this one? It has that, not that one. Uh, that one has that. Yeah. Hmm, what has darkness and, uh, Darkness and victorious or void in it. Hmm, what has those? T Ooh, this one has those two. Uh huh. And magic has uh, the darkness and that in it. But what do we need to in order to get the brain? Hmm, let's see. What does this one have? It has the heart and the gravestone. The gravestone has the heart and that. The heart has those two. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. Let's go from the brain and backwards. We need to get either vacuous or darkness. And, mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, the brain has fire. Ah, I think I know which one to go. This one has vacuous inside of it the magic has vacuous inside of it this one has fire and the brain has fire there we go Ooh, these two just got unlocked down here cool no not unlocked but visible to me the sanity checker. Okay, so we need a zombie brain, a diamond, and a thermometer, and a mirrored glass. The mirrored glass is just in a workbench, a quicksilver, and a piece of pink glass. Okay, let's check. Um, you know what we actually got? The pane of glass. 
But do we have any... Well, we got Quicksilver drops, but the Quicksilver is actually made by the Shimmer Leaves. You squeeze the Shimmer Leaf, and then you got a Quicksilver drop. <laughs> or Quicksilver, yeah. <laughs> Pane of Glass. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. And uh, now we need the Zombie Brain. And we need that. So we need one, two of these. Two pieces of gold, but then we need. Oh, I don't think we can can combine this. <laughs> we can make a cookie jar. <laughs> I don't think we can. No, we can't combine it uh, back into glass. Nope, we can't. <sighs> Bummer. Then we're gonna have to. Nope, we don't. I just re uh, just uh, remember that uh, I have now made this G A L G L A no, G L E S glass. There we go. Bam. Okay, that and that, that and that, and a piece of glass should give us that. Yes. Okay, and we got the zombie brain. So let's see here. How is this one made? Oh yeah, we need a we need a diamond as well. Out of range. I gotta put some range extenders in that thing. It's in there behind the wall there. Okay, cool. We got this uh, this bad boy. Bam! Right on there. Blood. This one, right here, the brain, right there, and the diamond, right here. It, does, it doesn't have to be exact, it doesn't have to be exact, but still, uh, close enough is, uh, is pretty, uh, pretty much for the best. Now we need Cognito, Census, and Alienus. Which are the three ingredients over here that I do not have. <sighs> yeah, we're already beginning to go over the line here. But I want to make this for you this time around. So we have it to, uh, for tomorrow. So see you in a bit and I will have it all ready and waiting. And we are back. Okay. Intensity, moderate. Alienus 8, Cognito 24, Census 24, Census 64, Alienus 64 and 6, it's just a Cognito there, we got 30, we got 6 more than we need, but it's moderate, so let's get to it. <laughs> There goes the Cognito. Nothing happened. None of the items got dropped off. Okay, that's the last bit of it. There goes the items. And diamond. And we are done. Okay, so my sanity meter up there tells me... I don't know what it tells me because it's the first time I've ever done this. So what does it tell me? I have no idea is... Is it low and I need to get it up somehow or what? Things may become, uh, th things have become busy in your mind lately. It is probably best that you have a look inside there and make sure everything is still all right. This tool will allow you to check the effects of warp on your physical uh, on your psyche and how much it is affecting you 
Of course, you cannot allow the tool like this to fall into the hands of your enemies. So you have uh, have taken great pains to uh, of something like that. Uh, the information it provides. You might have gone too far, though. You are having a hard time. Uh, Defending yourself, okay? It doesn't tell me uh, anything other than it's a sanity meter and yeah, I'm completely insane. <laughs> and with that, I'll say thank you all so very much for uh, thank you all so very much for watching, and until tomorrow, catch on the flip side.